How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games. And uh, sorry about the uh, background change. And also the fact that um, the sound is not as good as it used to be. There's a lot of noise coming from my laptop. Uh, I don't have my mic with me, I only have my laptop. Um, I'm away at the moment, like just uh, doing some, some business. But I can't leave The Sims. As last week there was no Sims due to the Five Nights at Freddy's and everything going on. So The Sims is back this week, so I apologise for that. So let's unpause the game. And as we can see, um, these two have been flirting with other people. Um, Amir has been flirting with Lara's sister, Tits. Which is it's just so wrong. It, it's just so wrong. I don't understand. Everyone's flirty, look. I'm, I'm not even sure Lara even knows. Like, let's get, like, tits in here to talk to her. Okay, now they're all in here. Like, this isn't awkward at all. Young Jake just walking by like nothing matters. That's fine. I don't, like, I don't understand what happened. Like, they, they just all started flirting with each other. Like, it was normal. And they all seemed quite accepting of this. Even Brianna, like, who's with tits. It's just in a really happy mood, like no one's annoyed. So, all right, everyone's together now. Oh yeah, this weird woman came over last time as well. Like, she's She was here as well. Um, I have no idea who she is and who she's actually friends with. But, uh, hey Jake, why don't you introduce yourself, you know, to our guest. Everyone's just watching TV together. See, this is quite cute, but um, I'm, I'm still not forgetting what is what has happened. So there's also a challenge going on as well in The Sims at the moment, like EA decided to release a thing called uh, Day of the Dead Challenge, which basically um, you have to collect these skulls. Uh, I think it's actually in The Sim, in The Sims cell phone, but I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Some cell phones. Select the social tab and then call Jasmine Holiday. When Jasmine Holiday arrives, speak with her to learn about the Day of the Dead festivities that are taking place. So. Maybe we should distract this weird ass family at the moment um, with some with some new challenges. So let's call um, this Jasmine person, Jasmine Holiday. There we go. I'm gonna get Amir to do it. Here he goes. He's gonna call her now, and we're gonna see if we can get up some Halloween type challenges. All right, she's gonna be right over. So where is she? Oh, is this her? Is this her? I'll just pause it because I can't get a lock on it. Jasmine Holiday. Okay, ask about the Day of the Dead challenge. Uh, Alright, so Amir's going to come out here now and he's going to talk to her about the Day oh, of the, the Dead. Day of the Dead challenge. Right, well, let me tell you much Okay, the interaction was households with the 10th Golden Skull, the enhanced interactions with the Grim Reaper. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so what, what do we do? Oh, right, Jasmine Holiday has placed a sugar skull case in your household inventory to help get you started the Day of the Dead challenge. If you prefer a different colour, you can also purchase the kit. Okay, so in my inventory, there should be a, um, okay. Uh, I don't really know how to get the household inventory up. Where is it? Lara's out here on the slip and slide, and I'm still trying to work out where this is. Kitchen upgrade part. Ah, sugar, skull of the dead challenge. Okay, so I have to find them. It hasn't been found yet. Okay, so I have to find these. And I don't know where they are, so we're going to keep a lookout for them. And, um... See if, you know, if we can actually find any of them. Like, anything like this. Wild fruit tree. Like, I don't really know where to start looking, to be honest. But anything to distract them from the madness that, that is... Um, Amir eating some... Some stuff on the lawn. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing out there. Um, yeah, so, where, where would we find these skulls? Like, I, I don't, I have no idea. Would they be out here? Let's go dig here and see if we can find one. You know, I was digging in her swimsuit. What, what she got? Lara dug up a capsule, what could be inside? Alright, mysterious time capsule, it's always fun to open. What is it? Okay. Okay, so it's um it's playful decor. It's nothing. Okay, so I don't really know where to find these skulls. Uh, let me look at my phone quick to see if I can find it. 
Okay, so I actually just looked at this and um, you need a, a skull. Uh, no, not a skull, sorry. You need a grave. And once you go to a grave, um, you can then apparently dig up a, um, a skull. I'm not sure if it's going to work with these urns. Let me see. Ah, leave sugar skull offering. Okay, so we've got three here already. Shall we see if we can do it? Leave sugar skull offering. I really hope it doesn't get rid of these urns though, because they're kind of important. <laughs> oh god. Well, she, she's praying to Lord Imhotep. Alright. So... Sh oh, should we do this to all three of them? That way... Oh no, I don't think she can. Does it have to be someone else now? Well, she's asleep, so let's get um, Brienne. Oh no, no, now Brienne's asleep. Okay. <laughs> so we've left the um, sugar skull offering. Um, and it, apparently this can only be done at night as well. So I'm not sure if we're going to get all of the skulls. But we've got three uh, graves, technically they're graves, um, here. Uh, that we can get sugar skulls from. And we've got to get ten, nine of them. Nine of them, and then we get like special interactions with the group. That you know, it's a fun challenge to do. It's something new in the game. I'm always looking for something new for The Sims to do, and especially that doesn't involve cheating on one another. As we can see, Lara and Amir are now in bed with each other, which is right. And I guess Tits, you should come to bed with your partner, who you're still engaged to. Like I don't think we got married yet. We, we definitely do need to get married. So I put a nightlight uh, in Thingy's room, Jake's room, uh, to keep the monsters away. Apparently, that's how you keep. The monster situation at bay, which seems to be working. I got this little light here, uh, and Jake is fast asleep. I haven't had any problems with him sleeping in his bed, which is great because he runs around and wakes everyone up. <laughs> okay, literally everyone is now asleep. Oh, except for Amir. Now let's get Amir to. Oh god, he's bladder. Let him go to the toilet first. Go to the toilet, Amir. Okay, Amir has gone to the toilet now. Let's get him to go over here and leave a sugar skull offering. Is it? St it's two for quarter past two in the morning, so it's still night time. Apparently, you can't do this in the daytime. So there you go. Right now, he's got to pray to Lord Imhotep. I think each character can only do it From once. So when someone else wakes up, we'll do it oh. again. To one of the other urns and see um, if we can get some sugar skulls. I'll just double check my facts actually. Okay, so I just read a bit more and apparently uh, it could take a few tries and basically if it's successful you'll find like a day of the dead like festival sim like walking around your neighborhood somewhere at random and then you can go up to them and ask for a skull. So um, uh, you have to complete this nine times uh, it could be any sim in your family, and once it works, how you know it works is because these have a cooldown period and basically keep trying, and then one of them will sort of glow, and uh, that's how you know it's your ancestors have heard you. It's quite cool, actually. What is Amir doing? Where's oh, he's going to play horseshoe. I really should just cut these fences down. It's you know, there's no point in trying to contain them normally because they just walk around and go into each other's houses anyway. There's just no point. Lara is still fast asleep, and I think I think we're forgetting what's been happening recently, which is good. It was so random, wasn't it? How they all just started cheating on each other. Like I don't, I don't understand that. Go on, Amir, you can do it. Be brave. All right, maybe not. You know, don't give up on your dreams, though. Yeah, just have a drink. That make it all feel better. So everything. See, oh, Jake's awake. What's wrong with Jake? Where's he? Oh, okay, he needs to go to the toilet. That's why he's walking like that. <laughs> Man, those slippers aren't very manly, Jake. They kind of look like what my nan would wear. I want to change those up a little bit. Should we get Jake to do it, or is he too young? Oh no, Jake can do it. Like, he's not too young. Let's get Jake to do it as well. Lara's now Ribbit doing it as well. And, um, I don't know, it'd be cool just to get one, just to see what all the fuss is about. Jake is in the bath. Pretty much just taking care of himself. It was cool, and now he's in a playful mood. Oh god, I thought she walked in the bathroom then. 
Okay, I think uh, that you really need, you and Tits, is Tits awake yet? Yeah, she really needs to wake up now, she's, her energy's full. Come and speak to your partner. Shall we just get married on the spot right now? Hopefully that, you know, we'll get married like right now. Let's do this, why the hell not, you know, instead of planning a big old wedding, you know, if it is going to go south, like, I don't want to like put loads of effort into a wedding for just to, you know, okay, here we go. We are going to get married right in front of the TV. Yes, you're in love. Stay away from your sister's partner, Amir, that's just fucking weird. Okay, them two are now get talking in the background, which is fine. You do understand that your sister's getting married, right? Attend wedding. Okay, everyone's sort of here now, the family are here. It's just a, you know, it's just a closed wedding. Alright, there goes the ring. That's fantastic. Yay! Everyone celebrate, let's make some cake. Actually, I won't make cake last time, we accidentally aged people up. <laughs> we won't do that. Alright, that was um, not very glamorous, but they are indeed married and hopefully that will like seal the bond a little bit more between them so she doesn't keep going after Amir. Like, I don't really like that very much. Oh god, now Jake is starting to fight with tits. Why, why don't you do that, Jake? It's their wedding. It doesn't look like a wedding. Oh, they're so adorable! Alright, well their love meter is now full. And I wanted to stay that way. Lara's in the kitchen cooking up uh, some, something to do with tomatoes. I don't even know what that is. Where's Amir gone? Okay, he's um, gonna go on the slip and slide. Which is fair enough. Oh wait, Carla. Don't wanna go to the nipples of summer. That, that restaurant just depresses me now. It just loses money no matter what I do to it. <laughs> well, Jake has gone off to school and now we're gonna try the final skull offering with Brienne. She's gonna get down and pray. <laughs> Scarlet Bogum Amiga. Scarlet Bogum Amiga. One day, I wonder if they'll make like a Sims 5 or something and see if they put them in actual English. Or do you think that would ruin the game if you had Sims walking around going, hey, how you doing? <laughs> like, I can't imagine the Sims ever talking English. That would just be weird. Like, Simmeridge is uh, their language and I think I think it's, it's just gotta stay. I remember once when I lent my dad's um, Sims in the City or something. It was um, a really old Sims game, it wasn't very good. And um, yeah, he, he called me up after like hours of trying to put the game in English. He was like, Dad, I can't get this game to work. It, uh, you know, it's in some language, I don't know what it is. I'm trying to get it in English. But <laughs> I had to explain to him that it was a made up language within the game. <laughs> so funny. Amir. Keeping his eyes off Tits. That's what we want to see. Oh no, Tits is coming over. Every time these guys get closer now, they get scared. Hopefully now they're married, they'll leave each other alone. Oh, get, get changed whilst you eat some... What's this? Oh. Pan fried... What is this on the floor? What is it? Resume... Blackened bass. What? Why is there blackened bass on the floor? Who left the blackened bass on the floor? floor? Blackened bass on the floor. Man, that's a tongue twister right there. Blackened bass on the floor. So yeah, I'm actually recording this on my laptop, guys. Um, so if the game looks slightly different in it, I don't think it will, you know. It's um, just as powerful as my main desktop computer. It's quite a good laptop, actually. And um, it's the first time I've played The Sims on it. It's looking good. Oh God, remembering a Sim that passed away. Double. A friend has passed. What? It's important to mourn. Who passed away? Yeah. A friend has passed away. Which friend? It's a shame that they don't actually tell you. Oh, what was this? What's she doing? Challenge coordinator. Should we talk to her? It's an apple. What the hell is that? Why has she got an apple on the back of her? I don't understand. All right, I think I think I've actually figured out what this thing was. Yeah, go away. Ah, go away. No, I don't want tips. Go away. I know how to. But no. All right, it's a sugar skull display case. Where's that? All right, here's the sugar skull display case that she was talking about. So when we collect skulls, if we collect them, 
then um, we can put them in here. Oh, that's pretty neat. So all the skulls will sit in here when we find them. Honor the dead. Man, this is kind of morbid, isn't it? <laughs> but it is Halloween after all. Can't do it in the day. So I think it can only be done at night. And I haven't seen anyone in the neighborhood. I'm keeping an eye out for people walking along to see if they are from the Day of the Dead festival. So everything right now is going well in The Sims. I'm looking forward to, to trying to get these skulls in the Halloween challenge. Um, I've been trying to, to do it, but it's not letting me do it. Apparently it takes a long while to get them all. But it says up here it uh, ends in 21 days and 22 hours. So basically nearly 22 days um, to try and get some of these skulls. I'm going to try and get try and get some in my own time. But I actually wanted to talk to you guys about The Sims as a series. Um, a lot of you guys really, well, you love it. You know, it, it, each episode gets close to like 200,000 views, which is an amazing number. And The Sims is something that I really, you know, don't want to stop doing. But at the same time, um, don't worry, I'm not stopping The Sims, don't worry. <laughs> Uh, there, there is a lack of things to really do. I've looked at the other DLCs and stuff, and they're all kind of the same. They, they just take The Sims into a different environment, and there's a few other different things and interactions and stuff you can do. But the DLC as a whole isn't amazing. Like the camping one, you could go out to the woods, and that was pretty much it. And you could, like, get a cabin, and, um, oh. But yeah, um... I, I kind of like feel like we've reached uh, a limit now with The Sims uh, in in kind of things that we can do. Like I I enjoy playing The Sims, and I know that you guys enjoy watching it, so that's why I keep making the videos because it's a perfect combination. But unless like something like dramatic happens or there's a death, like we we know how unpredictable The Sims can be. Um, I'm really trying to find ways of making The Sims more enjoyable to watch. So, I really want you guys to, in the comments section, to give me some suggestions. Like, uh, is there any DLCs you want me to try? Is there anything that you think that I could do, um, you know, for video suggestions? Because so far, we're literally just watching these guys live, which is, is cool because you guys are enjoying it and you like to see what happens next. But... I really want to hear what you guys would want from The Sims. Like, what what do you want? Do you want me to try some of the DLCs? Even though I think that, you know, they're not that very, they're not very good. Uh, let me know in the comments. And I apologise for No Sims last week, but as, as I mentioned, I've been very busy. I've been doing a lot of travelling up to London and stuff. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's been quite busy. But everything in The Sims seems to be back to normal now. They're not flirting with each other anymore. They're not cheating on each other. There's this new Skull Halloween challenge, which, you know, looks pretty cool. We'll see if we can get nine of them and fill our new display case up. And, um, yeah, we'll end it on no drama. <laughs> like, no deaths or anything like that, which is always nice. <laughs> so, guys, like, love, caress my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling.